go. And uh, we're here. Shall I do a George Bush? A George Bush? Yeah. I've got there, do a George Bush. There you go. That's what George Bush did. Yeah, we're here. We're here at the Mill Hotel doing a. Just put it on the table. I don't want to put it on there because it's. You, you can't really see. But. I'll be. Uh, somebody's going through changes there. Isn't this. Uh, isn't this like uh, Led Zeppelin or something? Don't know. Going through changes. This is uh, this is the salt and this is the pepper. There we go. And there's there's my Guinness. They're doing a little dance. There That's great. And there's a little bouquet of flowers there. I know. Yeah. Let's put the pans out. Oh, plastic. There you go. It's, it's great. Look at that. Comfort. Mm. Do you reckon a gypsy boy has come and dropped these off? Well, <coughs> so oh, sell, possibly, yeah. Maybe they, maybe they turn up in the morning, you know. Oh, oh they're plastic, aren't they? Yeah, they're plastic, aren't they? Just leave. Got a lighter, we can make, melt them. Anyway, mm. um, what inspired us to, to, uh, to, to uh, talk about this? Lovely topic. Well, we thought we'd uh, bring our viewers to lunch with us. Absolutely, yeah. We thought we'd, uh, um, what's the word? Quench everyone's uh, hunger. Thirst, hunger, thirst, with some orange juice. Absolutely, with some orange juice. And a pint, pint of Guinness. Pint of Guinness uh, and uh, some lovely banter about, uh, yes. about Range a, a wonderful topic, which is um, enjoy, probably pick it up. But uh, it was quite surprising Vic left a comment on uh, one particular video. I think it was the, uh, the commercial on the Globe Society. And I've been talking this morning to people about the Globe Earth Society mm. and the, the, the fact that the Earth is flat. And it's been quite interesting, their reactions, you know. Because a lot of people, I just generally find, are just scared to wake up and realise that the earth's flat and they've been told a crock of shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, but a lot of it is, it's, it's not just a question of being scared of the earth's flat. Yeah, yeah. But it's also a, a self realisation of their own life. Absolutely. Now, because Vic left a lovely comment on one of our videos, <coughs> uh, the Globe Society and how much, how much, basically, how much you despair well in life. <coughs> oh, my, may as well, right? How much despair there is in the society. Well, there's a lot of it. And um, left, he said, uh, he says, I, you could do a whole video on love. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, there's me, you know. Um, well, yeah, I, he, I woke up this morning. You, so. you could do a whole video on love, yeah. because love <clears throat> and the idea of love is totally skewed, warped, um, deranged, not easily understood by a lot of people. Yeah, but a lot of people don't. That, uh, <laughs> or if I can use, if I can use one of uh, Brad Boychuk's words, yeah, they're confused about love. Very people are confused, confused about love. Yeah. In his understanding, in his understanding, yeah, you can love anyone. That's right. You can you can love anyone, can but love that's anyone. not the, that's not true. Absolutely, that is not true. You can't love ev anyone because this society always tells you the opposite. Yeah, you can't love everyone. There's only a certain number of people you can love enough. But one thing I've realised this morning, I feel like actually putting this up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the sound. Oh, yeah, the sound. You've got to think about sound. I'll just hold it. But, um, one thing I've, I've thought about, because I woke up this morning and my heart was aching like shit. Wow, so hot. It's so sore, yeah. And it still is now. I'm, you know, having to breathe. And I begin to realise that 
I've just awoken to feelings that I should have experienced years ago. Oh, there we go. Oh, here's our food. Ours. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much indeed. That's great. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, thank you. So, we've just been given our food, so there's... we get a close-up of the egg there. Oh, there's mine, I'm having the same. Mmm! Yeah, I would have had, uh, I would have so, had fish and chips is much better. Fish and chips, no, I had it. <coughs> had it last time I was here and it was terrible. So I'm going to put that back on there while we, while we eat. So I can't hold it. Come on. Well, I can, I can have it pointed at me all the time, couldn't I? Well, you could, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm sure people won't mind if I'm, uh, if I'm eating. I'm sure no one will. So, so, yeah, one thing I realised, and that is when I woke up this morning with a very strong heartache, I actually thought to myself that that is exactly the type of feeling that I should have experienced years ago. But I mean, well, put it this way, the, this is why I look at things, and that is, you, you, you're born, and then you, you go to school, you know, you grow up obviously, and you go to school through the education system. Mm. Yeah? And basically, the education system just fucks people up because it disconnects the heart from the mind, from the head, from yeah. the brain. So people, and they don't educate you on how, on feelings and emotions. Absolutely, yeah. They don't do this. And it's, you know, that's something society will never do. Well, yeah, I mean, what, what's, what's regret? Well, let's teach our kids on regret and bitterness and envy. envy and all this kind of stuff. But they don't do it. No, they don't. But, um, what I ought to, if I had not had those, um, if I had not been disconnected when I was younger, what would have happened was that I would have um, gone through my youth, gotten to about, about um, 16, 17 years of age, met a woman, which I actually did do, you know, many years ago I did meet someone, and um, looking back now, you know, I could have had a very loving, happy family with her. Absolutely. But, um... Oh, because someone, someone mentioned that mm. a married couple is classed as a family. But I would disagree with that. Yeah. That that's just a couple. In other words, yeah, you, a family is a specific term for a specific set of people. Hmm. So it's, it's not just a couple. Yeah. yeah. So a couple is a couple. A couple's a couple. We can have a couple of eggs. I've got a couple of eggs there, look. Oh, mm. There we go. But, um, yeah. Wait, I'm just trying to balance that on there. So, yeah, when I look back on my life, you know, I could have been, even now, I could have been, could have been a grandfather now. Happily married. To someone I truly love. Mm. But, because my, uh, because my heart and my mind have been tampered with, interfered with by um, influences from my parents, influences from school education. I've realised, I've realised that I've just awoken to the feelings that I should have had when I met this woman. Mm. In other words, when I'd met this woman... In other words, no, no. In other words, what you're saying is that if you have the mindset now, mm. then... Absolutely, yeah. You would have... You're on the ball. Yeah, because one thing I've realised... 
and that is what happens just as just as people have um, just as people have two legs to, to walk with and run hands and they can do this do a lot of other do a lot of other things obviously they've also got a heart and if the heart is um, in tune with things with themselves when you're of a certain age where you can produce children and start a family you will you will eventually meet someone and fall in love and you know you're falling in love with them because when you meet them you can share good times you're happy and all this stuff but when you're away from them your heart starts to ache if you're in tune with your emotions and your your you know your brain and your heart are connected you'll suffer from heartache that's how you know that you love it. Yeah, because a lot of people aren't aware that their hearts are aching because their heads aren't in tune with their heart. Mm. They walk around in a, in a dream world. And they go from one relationship to another, then another. Then another, and then suddenly, bam, it hits them. You know, because nobody, nobody can escape the truth. Mm. Nobody can escape the truth. It's just a fact of life. So... So yeah, it's uh, yeah. So I've come to realise after 48 years of life, yeah. Mm. Mm. That each of us only gets one person to truly love. Well, mm. all love, yeah. One person. Only one person. And love is the only thing you love really learn in life. Absolutely. That's the only thing people learn in life. Because everybody learns how to show kindness. Because that doesn't come from everybody, does it? No. So, no. Now some people might poop, might think no, that's that's just rubbish. You can you can love anyone. You can you can do this, you can do that. But as far as I'm concerned, if you think I'm wrong, prove me wrong. You know. I've been single for oh, I've been single for. Oh, 20, 22 years of my life. I'm 48. So that's a that's a that's an awful lot. Mm. And the chances of me finding a partner are very 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 remote. Mm. When, I, when I look around at globe society and I think about all the family breakdown, the relationship breakdown, the mistrust, the unhappiness, in the, loneliness, life, the loneliness, the misery, the despair in people's lives. What would that tell anyone? There's something seriously wrong with us. No. That it's highly probable, highly probable, that each of us only gets one person to truly love in life, and everyone else is just pants. Well, I mean, when you look at, when you look at. everything around you, you look at people as well and see how happy, unhappy they are or unhappy they are yeah you think well what is, what is wrong with it? what is wrong with it? so you look a bit deeper you look a bit more mm. and people will only come to one conclusion oh, no.
from those, a lot of people. All lacking love in their lives. Yep. Thanks, Amy. Yeah. It's so true. You know, I see, uh, I see so many, I even, even had a chat with a girl today down at the swimming pool and uh, I said to her one thing you should do in your life and that's have children because you don't want to get you don't want to get to uh, you don't want to get to an older age and have, lead an empty life mm. what she say to her? she agreed with me yeah you know, because I've, you know, I've got a son that um, I don't have any contact with at the moment. You know, obviously, I mean, I got with, I got with the wrong partner to have a child or children with. Mm. That wasn't my fault. That was just the fact that I, I didn't know anything. Nobody told me. My education didn't tell me. And. Uh, you know, there you go. That's that's the result of the globe society. Absolute rubbish. Just causes pain and suffering for lots of people. Mm. Mm. Because all of that could have been avoided. Yeah, if I'd have been given a, a, a truer education. Mm. Mm. Yeah. More meaningful. Mm. 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 Aren't you going to eat the uh, tomato ketchup? No. <coughs> Sachets as well? No. <laughs> yeah, not as nice as the uh, fish and chips. Mm. <coughs> but then again, well, she looks like she's in her 90, do not she? So, you know, I know it's uh, for some people. It's uh, for some people. It's probably quite a, a bitter pill to swallow. Realizing, you know, especially after fifty years of marriage, absolutely, that you only get one person to truly love it, yeah, and the person you married wasn't her. Yeah, but yeah, but that's what people learn in life. Hmm. That's what that's all people learn. I know, yeah. You know. <clears throat> it reminds me of that there was an article in the paper of this guy trying to locate a woman who he, he moved to Australia and this, he was trying to locate a woman he used to know um, in Manchester. a seamstress wasn't it oh well, yeah Manchester and I'm thinking I'm reading it I'm thinking yeah that was her that was his true love yeah yeah and he wanted, wanted to get closure. Mm. Basically, peace of mind. Absolutely. So, it's a very hard pill to swallow. And you can understand, really, why the globe Earth exists. Yeah. Mm. Because the globe Earth, part of the reason for the globe Earth is it, it distracts people from the true reality and it hides the true reality mm. but one thing it also does is that the true reality of life it, it deepens the um, it deepens the uh, the negativity well but it, promote, it promotes sex a lot doesn't it Oh yeah, I know, yeah. But it's, it's as if like, they're, they're, they're like saying to people, you know, you know, look, okay, you're unhappy. 
but have lots of sex. And no matter what, of course, no. of course, we'll still love you. Oh, right, uh, absolutely. Of course, we'll still love you. That's what that's what SpaceX is telling people. Yeah. No. We don't we don't care how much you suffer, how much your heart is breaking. We will love you. Yeah. Yeah. You'll save you, Brian Cox. No. It's not Jesus. It's not Jesus, it's Brian Cox. Right. Bill Nye. Bill Nye. These are your saviors. Yeah. You know. And yet all these people <laughs> they look up to these guys being saviors. They realise that they've just been fed a crock of shit all their life at some point. Yeah. Mm. Now, come on. <sighs> Just yeah. So, oh, yeah. there we go. Well, I've, well, I've had mine. That's what you get. So, uh, oh, right. and the the thing is, I have to admit, oh, we're gonna we're gonna leave here. We're gonna. We're going to go and find some curvature. Yeah, we're going to go and find some curvature of the Earth soon. I was even saying to, I was having a great conversation with somebody down at the swimming pool today. And in, uh, in Tesco's, this, this member of staff was talking to uh, somebody else. And uh, I played around with her, you know, with a bit of banter. And she looked round at the other woman and she said, oh, he's a bit, uh, you know, kind of like weird kind of thing. And I said to her, well, I can't help it if I think the earth's flat. You know, yeah. it's not my fault, is it? You know, I can't help it if um, a lot of the information supporting the globe is rubbish. Oh, well, yeah. Air bubbles, I can't help that. Air bubbles come up from the, from the helmets. And, yes, the, from and the, the CGI. Helmets. The CGI. I was, I was talking to uh, composite images. Mm, I was talking to my, to my manager about this as well, and I was saying, 2017. In this society, growing number of people think the Earth is flat. Mm. What? There's something seriously, seriously wrong, seriously wrong with it. Right. So I was going on about yeah, so the, the CGI of photos put in. Google, you know, photo from space, or from oh, Earth, right. Earth from space. They're all composites. There's not even a real photograph of the Earth from space. It's crazy. Crazy, yeah. 2017. Uh, it's, 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 it's rubbish. It's ridiculous. It's, it? No, it's rubbish. Yeah. It's got to be rubbish. Because yeah, if you were, yeah. <laughs> And I was it's telling her about all the CGI they use on the International Space Station, you know. Oh, the all this reality. And then the worst thing was, was that she asked me, she asked me, do you believe? Well, well, sorry, she said something like, well, you know, everyone's entitled to their own beliefs. And I, was, I said to her, it's not a belief. Yeah. I, I trust my senses. Something's real or not. Absolutely, I trust my senses mean? and my experiences of people and life. And I know people are full of shit um, a lot of the time. And at the end of the day, the earth's flat. Well, in other words, if you want to convince me the earth is really a spinning ball, you really need to take me up into space. Absolutely. And prove it to me. Prove it to you, yeah. Absolutely. I don't yeah. know if that isn't going to happen. Now, an interesting conversation we could have, and that's about. <coughs> now, we, we live in Chester. At the moment. Oh, at the moment. At the moment. And Chester is renowned for its Roman ancestry. 
heritage. Heritage, yeah. They, re they even have a diva experience. Now, I've often questioned whether... Look, are the walls Roman? I'm thinking they're made out of sandstone. No, they're not, they're not Roman. And I'm thinking the cathedral's made out of sandstone. And that was built in the 15th century, something like that. Oh, okay, earlier, right? Maybe, 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 who knows. Yeah. So... But what, yeah, the point you're trying the to point make... The point I'm trying to make is, is that I don't think that Romans were ever here well, it, in Chester. Possibility it's a possibility. And a lot of the artefacts that they found that indicate that the Romans were here could have come from could have come from travellers who've been on holiday in Italy, yeah. you know, been on the gondolas and everything, and brought lots of bottles back and coins and you know trophies. Trophies. I mean, when you go on holiday, say, say, let's say you go to Japan on holiday. Now they use the yen. Now, when you what, what are you going to have in your pocket when you come back? <laughs> you're going to have lots of yens, aren't you? Oh yeah. So you know, and it, they could probably end up, uh, you know, in the ground somewhere. You know, and then years later, somebody finds them. Well, we found some yens. We found some old coins. Some Japanese people must have. Come some here. Japanese must have been living here. Oh well, yeah. You know, and it's rubbish, isn't it? In other words, what, the, about, what about the clay pots? And the clay pots. The, all other. Well, they could have been made by English people. The people living in the country. Live people oh, living no, here. Sorry, they could have been brought over. They could have been brought them. over. Because tourism still so thrives. Not only, not only have you and me, not only have you and me come to realise that there's no evidence that there's oxygen in the air that we breathe, and that oxygen really is purified air. Basically. Basically. Yeah. But we've also come to realise that um, Chester's not a Roman city. Yeah. Or it's likely. Yeah, it's it's like very it's highly. A it's a very, very good possibility. So every time you see a Roman soldier on the, you know, on the posters and all this, it it could be all rubbish. All of it. Yeah, but but the, the city wall, the city walls are built around, yeah. were built around the cathedral. Oh no! So the city walls have only been there since the cathedral was built, and they're made out of the same stone as well. Yeah. I mean, if I was a Roman, I certainly wouldn't use stone sandstone. Oh, didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you want to talk about the? Oh right, now this is a good one. This is the this Roman roads. Yeah. I've often said, it's often been said by people. This just goes to show how much shit people fill with. She even agrees with me as well. But um, when you think about, I've, all, I've, all, I've often heard people say, the Romans were the first people to build straight roads. Yeah? I'm sure other people have heard that as well, haven't they? Yeah. But you ask yourself, well, how stupid were people before the Romans? Yeah. Did they build windy roads? You know, normally build a road to stay to be. Absolutely. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, um, it's just common sense. It's just common sense, yeah. So, how can how can anyone say, well, well, it was the Romans that built straight roads? It's rubbish, isn't it? When you really do think about it, it's absolute rubbish. What's the point in your building a windy road? that if you walked along would take you a whole mile. Twice you, as long as a straight road. Absolutely, when you could build a straight road that will only take you, to, you know, say, um, three, a quarter of a mile. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's nonsense, it's nonsense. rubbish. Yeah. It's amazing how much people are bent over backwards and shafted in this globe society. Yeah. It's true though, isn't it? You know, it's, it's crazy. In other words, basically, what I'm saying is, is the only thing you can actually trust is in your senses. Are you, are you, well, how you feel, how you feel, yeah. how you feel, and your experiences Absolutely. of life and people. Absolutely. That's the only thing you can ever know for sure. To yeah. be true. To be true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything else is just rubbish. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. yeah. But um, it's only food for thought. And, um, and we've just eaten it as well. Absolutely. And I'm sure lots of people would agree with me. Oh, yeah. I had to do that. There you yeah. go. And uh, I was going to take I was going to take home those uh, salt and pepper so I can uh, well, play a tune. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm trying to think of something uh, silly to do. You know. You know what I'm like. This is for the road. I've only got to drink that half pint and I'm away. Well, I've, been, <laughs> I've enjoyed my lunch. 
this is wet, 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 and uh, oh, I can't think of the chin. Oh, 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 wasn't that lovely? That, that was wet, wet, wet. Ounce about, ounce about. Now then, dry, 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 dry. How do you like it? How do you like it? Dry, dry, dry. I think I've, I've got to do that. I don't know. I don't know. No, no. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. Hey there. What can I say? Hey, look. You can do this. You can do this. Is it? I can see curvature. Oh, uh, I've got to admit, the, the more you talk to people, the more you you start straightening out their minds. I've noticed that. I've noticed that today. I've really been straightening straightening out people's minds. Ironing, ironing out. Yeah, taking out the creases. Taking all, out all the creases. And silver silver as well, which you don't get a lot of that now, do you? So There we go. Anyway, anyway, come on. She's got uh, somebody's birthday. Oh, she's standing by her car, looking like a, a security person, you know, possibly a bouncer. Anyway, anyway, we're going to end it there. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's uh, goodbye for me. And goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So uh, there we go. It's a little warm, doesn't it? So always remember, till the next time of nonsense. Yeah. If something doesn't make sense, like um, Chester being invaded by Romans, possibly. Who knows? Who knows? Or, or that you get more people to love. You can love the whole world. Oh well, yeah. You can love everyone. You can love the planet. You can love the planet. Yeah, of course. And what else, yeah. And uh, the Romans were the first to build straight roads. I mean, come on, get real. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Didn't the Anglo-Saxons have brains? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Or even the ancient Greeks, surely they would have oh, built yeah. straight roads. Yeah. Where possible. Oh, and if you, I mean, you couldn't dig through a, a mountain or anything, but, you know. The Egyptians, surely, surely the Egyptians would have built straight, yeah. If they were clever enough to build pyramids, they'd build straight roads. I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? The things you're told from people, absolutely ridiculous. It's all nonsense. There you go. Okay. See you later then. Bye. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat, everywhere it's flat.